Hello everyone, I'm Chandler Wood, Community Manager here at Avalanche Software. Hogwarts Legacy is filled with Easter eggs, obscure Wizarding World references, and little secrets you may not have noticed. Here are 74 details hidden throughout the game. At one point in the Forbidden Forest, you can see a stag across a pond, a reference to Harry's Patronus in Prisoner of Azkaban. Return to Feldcroft after finishing Sebastian's questline to find a couple extra details I won't talk about here due to spoilers. Leander Pruitt's surname is the same as Molly Weasley's maiden name. There's a Revelio page in a certain bathroom talking about a snake etched into a faucet decades before the Chamber of Secrets is eventually opened by Tom Riddle. Another Chamber of Secrets nod, during one of Sebastian's quests, you can find a note from Salazar Slytherin talking about the basilisk he put in the dungeons. Oof. One of the named enemy wolves in the game is called the Grim, named after the omen of death that haunts Harry in Prisoner of Azkaban. Have you defeated the Grim? yet? Okay, this is one of my favorite details. Over in Hogsmeade, Bingle and Blatch has three different front doors leading to three different interiors that exist in the same space. Seriously, this one is some real game dev wizardry. <laughs> That's a crazy detail. You will fight a couple of Acromantulas in the game. Their ability to summon other spiders is a reference to Aragog being able to command spiders in Chamber of Secrets. <laughs> so here at Avalanche, we love Ron Weasley, and there are a few Easter eggs based on iconic Ron moments we just had to call out. Hitting a troll with its own club in combat is a callback, or is it call forward, to Ron using Wingardium Leviosa to knock out a troll with its own club in Philosopher's Stone. Cool. Ron's dress robes are said to have been the height of fashion in 1890. As Hogwarts Legacy takes place in the late 1800s, of course, you can wear them. And those ruffles served as inspiration for part of uh, my launch celebration outfit. I don't even know. The Follow the Butterflies quest is taken from the same line spoken by Ron in Chamber of Secrets. Why couldn't it be Follow the Butterflies? The Transfiguration spell icon and rat cup in the Transfiguration classroom pokes fun at Ron's bungled half-rat, half-cup transfiguration. I mean, he learns it eventually, right? Remember when Ron was cursed to vomit slugs? You may find a student in the hospital wing beset by the same ailment. Ugh. Moving on from Ron, we have a lot more details to cover. A number of locations in Hogwarts Legacy are modeled after the films, but one example you may not have noticed is the potion storeroom. Not something found in your everyday garden. Have you been to the secret werewolf room with these mysterious tapestries? I used Lumos knew them, and they seem to change. How'd they do that? Professor Hecate's office is filled with clocks and mirrors, some foreshadowing of her unique backstory. Easily one of my favorite professors. Heading on up to the trophy room, you can find the Goblet of Fire's casket where it's stored while not in use. How about some giant squid sightings, which tend to favor those of us in Slytherin? While flying your broom with Everett, you can see the squid's tentacles in the lake. This one's for all the houses. However, the Slytherin exclusive quest has references to the squid, requiring an offering of toast to enter a secret grotto. And another Slytherin-only detail, casting magic at the windows in the common room can result in the squid swimming by or slapping the window with its tentacles. Speaking of fun world-building details, in the Goblet of Fire book, the Triwizard Champions meet in the portrait tower to the left of the teacher's tables, which we included. You can find a reference to Newt's Nook from Fantastic Beasts in a locked room off the Transfiguration Courtyard. Professor Weasley has a collection of chess pieces, a nod to a certain future Transfiguration professor. One of my favorite locations in Hogwarts is the secret Death Day Dungeon. This whole area is a reference to the Death Day party in the books, including the table full of rotten food and tombstone cake with gray icing. After all, ghosts can't eat, but if they waft through that pungent food, they can almost taste it. The music here includes musical saws, as described in the books, and all of the ghosts in the Death Day dungeon are dancing period-appropriate dances. Ready for another batch of rapid-fire details? In Prisoner of Azkaban, it says the fat lady hides in the map of Argyllshire. But in the film, she hides in a safari landscape. To reference both, we put a secret portrait safe room behind the map, which contains a safari landscape painting. Oh, he's like the devil. He's gone. As an homage to modern era caretaker Argus Filch, the detention room has some subtle references to medieval discipline. In the detention room and outside of potions, there are decrees in box frames as a tribute to the film designs for Umbridge's decrees. You can also get these decrees as decorations in your room of requirement. Oh dear, we are in trouble. One room holds a Gorgon portrait that will petrify you for a moment if you interact with it. This is a reference to the Rhyme of Gormless Morgan in Miranda Goshock's Book of Spells. 
Headmaster Black has a mirror that looks suspiciously like a chocolate frog wizard card frame, an ego boost for a wizard who envisions he'll one day find himself on one of those cards. Slytherin and Ravenclaw have their seventh year dorms away from the rest, based on a stereotypical focus on status and seniority in these houses. There's a loose golden snitch flying around Gryffindor common room, a reference to James Potter stealing the snitch after Quidditch practice to play with it in the common room. Those Leviosa statues scattered around the castle, that's the wizard who invented the Leviosa spell. There's an armchair by the staff room fireplace, perhaps the very same armchair in which Professor Binns expired. Not in Hufflepuff? You'll get squirted with vinegar if you try to enter their common room. You can get taped up glasses as a gear item, a reference to Harry's own broken glasses in Philosopher's Stone. Oculus repair room. Here's an obscure one. Remember when Trelawney started drinking cooking sherry after Umbridge put her on probation? Glance in a vase near the Room of Requirement for a small nod to where the divination professor hid her bottles. The balcony attic area behind the arithmancy door in the faculty area is a space featured in the Battle of Hogwarts in the films. And directly below that is the Hall of Hexes, a space seen on the Marauder's map. In fact, the Marauder's map was a huge help in building Hogwarts, and as such, our castle contains a number of small details that may only be noticed at a glance. The Room of Lost Wands, Pungent Passageway, and Runic Hallway are spaces we built out and expanded on based on the Marauder's map. The pillow outside the Ravenclaw common room insinuates that students have been unable to answer the Eagle's Riddle and must spend the night outside the common room instead. The Daily Prophet headline in the intro is formatted in the same statement question way as other notable ones from Wizarding World fiction. The Room of Requirement and Hogwarts Legacy is chock full of Easter eggs and series references. Here are just a couple. You can get the mounted house elf heads from Black Manor and Umbridge's cat plates as decorations. The Room of Requirement houses the vanishing cabinet that Draco Malfoy will eventually use to smuggle Death Eaters into the castle. Let's keep this train rolling! The hidden area above Professor Sharp's room contains some Hogwarts architecture concept art. The staff room houses a wardrobe that will eventually contain the bog art Lupin uses to train his class in Prisoner of Azkaban. The crystallized pineapple display in Honey Dukes is a nod to Professor Slughorn's favorite candy. Merlin's beard. Chocolate frog packaging in our game is different than modern day, a reference to a newspaper article in Newt Scamander's time talking about updated chocolate frog packaging. One stall in a certain bathroom has a potion being brewed, a clear nod to Harry, Ron, and Hermione brewing their polyjuice potion in a bathroom stall. Frog choir in the music room? Check. You can put them in your room of requirement, too. In the book, Sirius is held in the charms office. In the films, he's held in a tall tower. Hogwarts Legacy marries these ideas by creating a charms tower cell where the charms professor may hold a creature to practice difficult charms on. During the astronomy class quest, one student says, How am I supposed to find Sirius when my hands are too cold to use a telescope? It's a dog, isn't it? To learn the Avada Kedavra spell, Avada Kedavra! players need to trace a lightning bolt, a symbol that will one day be etched into the forehead of the boy who lived. Wicked. While sneaking through the restricted section, you can find Secrets of the Darkest Arts, the same book that Tom Riddle learns about Horcruxes from. Oh, if we could only remove the book now. In Hogwarts, there's a portrait of Wendell in the Weird, a witch who enjoyed being burned alive, using the flame freezing charm to survive the fire. Pardon me? Might I ask a favor of you? Saccharissa Tugwood, the witch who first used beauty potions and earned fame on a chocolate frog card, her quest has you finding booba tubers to help spotty classmates. And according to her card, she discovered the pimple curing properties of booba tuber pus. Seems like you help her gain fame. The Hopping Pot is a reference to the Wizard and the Hopping Pot story from the Tales of Beetle the Bard. Behind the groundskeeper's shed is a small memorial to Hagrid actor Robbie Coltrane, who sadly passed in the months before the game launched. Fearglass Castle, which you visit to rescue Roland Oaks, is designed after the castle from Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure in Universal's Islands of Adventure in Orlando. The name Fearglass is also Scottish for the Green Man, on which Hagrid was based. Headmaster Black's house elf, Scrope, who helped Slytherins locate the beheaded Richard Jackdaw, was named after Henry Scrope, third Baron Scrope of Masham, who was beheaded. Using transfiguration on animals will change them into interesting objects. Alternatively, have you tried using flipendo on a cow? All right, a couple more Ron-related details. In the Minding Your Own Business quest, the Knight to H3 chess move is a reference to Ron's chess game in Philosopher's Stone. Knight to H3. In that same quest, Fastidio's name means nuisance in Italian. I do hope you enjoy my playground. I encourage you to tell everyone about it. Have you tried to cast spells while on cooldown? Your wand will spark and fail to cast anything at all, much like Ron's broken wand in Chamber of Secrets. And finally, 
our last few. You can find the Book of Admittance, which magically says which students are admitted to Hogwarts, near the headmaster's office. During winter, there are living snowmen in the open world. Try attacking them, and melting them, and using Glacius on a melted snowman. As an opportunity for exploration and discovery, there are 11 NPCs in the open world who each died in mysterious ways, with notes that tell each of their unique stories. See if you can find them all. Hmm, this one's interesting. And this skeleton seems like someone who hates snakes just as much as I do. This rabbit-eared top hat? It's a reference to a short line in Prisoner of Azkaban about a rabbit transfiguring to a top hat and back in the shop where Hermione goes to buy her pet. We also reference the jeweled tortoise shells mentioned in the same passage. And finally, our recently added arachnophobia mode doesn't just make spiders less scary, but does so in a lore-appropriate way. In the books, Ron's spider bogart loses its legs when he casts the bogart banishing spell. In the films, the spider bogart gets roller skates instead. Arachnophobia mode in Hogwarts Legacy makes the spiders legless with floating roller skates for feet. A brilliant blend of both. Ridiculous! Whew. That may have been a lot of small details, Wizarding World references, and Easter eggs, but it's certainly not everything. Have you come across even more that we didn't list here? You can search for them yourself in Hogwarts Legacy, now available on PS5, PS4, Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, and PC. Is that good? Is that, are we done? Are we, we're done. Bye.